Hello guys, welcome to the video. My name is Crypt, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get Illusi V0.7, install and use it. Okay, so first of all, you're going to come here to my website. After coming to my website, you're going to see this page. On the top, you're going to see a little menu. You're going to go here to subscription. Now this is going to show you a subscription plan that actually pays for Illusi. If you if you become a VIP. By paying $10 every single month, you're going to get every single VIP application, including Illusory in the lowest scripts. Now, there's another way of getting Illusory. You can also come over to the shop. And you can get Illusory from here for $20. Illusory is 0.7. However, if you're a member on my website, you know that I actually release coupons pretty frequently. So there's a coupon right now that is a 50% discount on this price, which means you only pay $10. Okay? So now, if you don't have a loser, you come over here, click Add to Cart, and now it's added to the cart. Let me delete the other things, and you can just, let me take the other ones out. There you go, one item, I lose it. View Cart, you come to this page, and you can just check out. You can either check out using your credit card, or you can check out using PayPal, okay? Either way, you're going to be safe. This website is 100% safe, so you're good, okay? You can also check over here, there's a little lock over here, connecting secure, okay? Um, now, after you become a VIP or you pay, when you pay for a loser, you're going to get a one-time access to the application. So please do not lose that access. Anyways, after you pay for a loser, you're going to get the link for it. Now, in case you're VIP, you're going to have this page over here. Underneath member, you have a VIP page, okay? Just go over, hover over, and you're going to see the VIP page over here. Click on it. And this is going to show you every single VIP um, application that you have access to. Okay. All right, so what you can do here is you're going to go here to Illusory v 0.7. You're going to click download. These are all the functions of it, okay? Download. It's going to start downloading. It's a zip file. I recommend that you have WinRAR in your computer, okay? Go to Google and type WinRAR so you can download WinRAR. After you have downloaded the application, I recommend that you bring it to the desktop. What you're going to do is you're going to right-click on it, and you're going to click Extract to Illusory v 0.7. So that it creates a new folder with the name Illusory v 0.7. Now you have a folder called Illusive Visual 0.7 in your desktop. You can rename it to whatever you want. You can also throw this zip file out, but I recommend that you keep it somewhere safe in your computer. Let's open the Illusive Visual 0.7 folder. When you open the Illusive Visual, Illusive Visual 0.7 folder, you're going to see this right here. You're going to open it again. And now you're going to have access to a bunch of applications. You're going to have access to Illusive Visual 0.7.exe, the executable, and config.create.exe the executable, you're going to have access to two audio files and the read mode document, which has instructions inside of it. Okay. In this case, the instructions are actually on the video. However, over here, you can see the new updates and everything that's new on the Illusive 0.7. All right. What we're going to do now is you're going to open Config Creator. That's the first application you should open. If you try to open Illusive, it's going to give you an error. You need to create, you must open Config Creator and create a profile. All right, so let's open Config Creator. Welcome to Config Creator. Create a configuration file for a game. Set up specific weapons configuration inside configuration. And enjoy. So let's type the name of a game. Okay, so let's type um, PUBG. Now we're going to create a profile for PUBG and we need three weapons. Okay, you can actually have more than three weapons, but... For the beginning startup, you, you, can, you can only add three weapons. So let's add um, AKM, M416, and the um, M16. Profile created, and now you can see a new profile, gamepubg.ini. This is a configuration file. You can easily modify everything here. Now you're going to open it. Right-click, edit. And this is how you can see it. You can modify everything here. You can even modify the name of the profile. Okay. Over here, you can see the weapons that you created. AKM, M416, M16. All of them have the same record pattern right here. And there's also another mode called Mode Quadruple. The AKM, M416, M16 all here. And all of them have the different record patterns that you can try it out. But you can also modify these values. Over here, you have the Mode Switch key, which allows you to switch mode from Mode Quadruple to Mode Basic. Mode Quadruple pretty much allows you to, when you press Caps Lock, or when Caps Lock is activated, it pretty much allows you guys to switch to a much higher recovery. 
horizontal recoil as you know it allows you to control the horizontal recoil if you type true in here now it's gonna control the horizontal recoil by a value of one so it's gonna go one to the right and one to the left equally i'm gonna have false and over here you also have trigger breath which means that as you're shooting it's gonna press the shift key which is a breath key now if your game uses a different key to hold your breath you can put the, breath, the key right here like control or whatever pubg uses shift so you can just push shift right here so for example let's say i'm shooting i put this to true if i if i shoot right now right if i'm shooting in game it's gonna hold the shift key which is a breathing key all right i'm gonna have this as false trigger crouch as you as you are shooting you pretty much hold the the crouch key it just holds it it doesn't keep pressing okay so this is a crouch key in pubg that i utilize you, if you use control you can just type control right here and you can also activate this function by typing true capital t false capital f rapid fire rapid fire pretty much allows you guys to um change single fire weapons into automatic weapons without you actually having it without that function actually existing for the weapon in game it pretty much allows you guys to shoot fast with any weapon like the m16 or whatever rapid cycle is just how fast you're gonna shoot fire rate very important very very important this pretty much defines the fire rate pattern for these functions above over here so fire rate actually has to do with this okay you can modify it and see how you like it toggle recoil allows you to turn on the recoil by pressing this, this key over here which is the x key remember you can also key bind this key to your mouse or a keyboard to a button in your mouse or a button in your keyboard so that you can press a button in your mouse or keyboard to activate recoil don't forget also you can do the same thing for exit if you want to exit quick you can put this the h key in your mouse and a button in your mouse to exit quickly from the application all right anyways let's proceed so i'm gonna save this file I'm actually gonna modify these values over here so that you guys can see. Let's say I want the M60 to have actually the MK, AKM to have higher values. 6556. Five, there you go. I'm gonna close the application and I'm gonna open ILUSI V0.7. However, before you open ILUSI V0.7, make sure you right click, go to properties, compatibility, and run this program as an administrator. Very important. Apply. Okay. Why? Because when you open PUBG, it's actually being ran as administrator. You want to make sure iLosity is being run in the same method so that iLosity can actually execute inside PUBG. It can run inside PUBG, okay? Now, let's open iLosity. Yes, confirm it. And now iLosity is open. You're going to select which profile you want to activate. We only created one profile, so I'm going to type 0, which is the only profile right here. Boom. And now, as you can see, iLosity is right here. And I lose it is working fine. If I press X right now, it's gonna activate the script. It's gonna play a little sound when you turn it on, it's gonna play a little sound when you turn it off. Okay, it's a very simple application, it's a very simple interface right here, as you guys can see. Okay, uh, and it's an external cheat, which means you're most likely gonna be safe in any game. Okay. Um, now if you have a way to protect the application even more, you can go ahead and do it. However, this application is very, very safe at the moment. I tried it in PUBG yesterday okay and and today is the um, 9th of february so i tried it yesterday and it was completely fine i played for like two hours it was amazing um you just gotta make sure you modify the values because the first the values that i have in here they are created default are not very good uh so i recommend that you modify every single value uh like for, for example the m416 i actually use this value over here um i think that value is really good for m416 but that's for me right that's for my settings uh, the M16, I use these values because they're very good for the M16. The AKM, I actually use higher values, of course. I use um, these values for the AKM. And for the barrel, I actually go even below. I go above that. I actually create more values. I do these. I believe I believe something like this for the barrel. Remember, you don't have a limit, so you can keep going here. This is pretty much how specific you want the pattern to be. How many numbers and how specific you want it to be. Okay? Um... Fire rate is very important too. I recommend you guys play the fire rate. For example, if I set the fire rate right now to 100, right? I'm going to show you guys the difference. So I'm going to now execute. I lose it. Open the PUBG profile, the I lose it profile, execute it. You guys can see that it shifts through values very quickly. You don't even know what value. I'm actually going to shift the weapon, switch the weapon over here. So um, to change profile, you can actually do it in here, right? By changing profile, it means changing weapons. So right now I have the AKM activated. And as you guys can see over here, AKM is the first one on this list. If I go to the side, I go to the M416 by pressing the 6 button on my keyboard. 
got side again, six button, it goes to barrel. Again, I go to M16. I'm gonna go to the barrel. I'm gonna activate it once so that it shows me all the values for it. And I'm gonna execute it so that you guys can see. You see, you guys can see the values, right? It's really good, it's really cool. So these are the values running through the M16, the barrel right now, right? Um, that's with the fire rate of 100. Now I'm gonna modify the fire rate. To modify the fire rate, you gotta exit the application. To 10, I'm gonna Control S to save this uh, notepad, this configuration file. I'm gonna open and lose it one more time. And now I'm gonna execute this. And now I'm gonna, I remember, I'm gonna go back to the barrel. Six, 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 right here. I'm gonna press X to activate the script. And as you can see, it, it takes much longer to switch between values. So that's what the fire rate does. It pretty much, um, it mod it's literally, it's kind of like a fire rate. It allows you to modify how quickly the application is switching between values, okay? It's changing between these values over here, okay? So the application starts at a zero value. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 0, 1, 2. That's what it's doing. So the fire rate defines how quickly it's doing that, that cycle. All right. So thank you very much. I'm going to show you guys how to um, use this application inside the game. All right. Um, but make sure you go ahead on my website and buy the application if you want to buy it. There's a coupon right now out for you guys. Okay. Um, the coupon is 2021. So if you're watching this video right now, just go ahead and use the coupon when you purchase it. Okay. It's going to lower the price by a lot. Alright, and thank you very much guys, have a great time, and don't forget to subscribe.